Welcome back. For many years, a debate has raged in China concerning the Yuan Mingyuan, or Old Summer Palace. This was the magnificent garden and palace complex that was destroyed by invading foreign forces in 1860. The debate has a polarized opinion. Some people argue that the Yuan Mingyuan should be left in its ruined state as a reminder of a particularly dark period in China's history. Others, who would rather not be reminded of the past, call for the old palaces and gardens to be rebuilt. On February 18, 2008, the Zhejiang Hengdian Group held a major press conference at the Diaoyutai State Guesthouse in Beijing. The occasion was to announce the launch of a public donation campaign to raise money for the Zhejiang Hengdian New Yuan Construction Project. All the money raised would go towards not only the construction of a new Yuan Mingyuan in Hengdian, but also the recovery of lost Chinese antiques. The news caused a sensation. But why should the Yuan Mingyuan, Beijing's old summer palace that had been known as one of the finest gardens in the world, be rebuilt in Hengdian? <laughs> In total, 20 billion yuan would be needed to rebuild the Yuan Mingyuan. Clearly, the whole sum could not be furnished by the Hengdian Group. Most would come from public organizations and private individuals. The Hengdian Group would be the instigator and organizer of the project, and one of the main shareholders in it. However, the question of funding was only one issue. So why should Xu Wenrong have wanted to build the Yuan Mingyuan in Hengdian? For Xu Wenrong was not the first to suggest rebuilding the Yuan Mingyuan. Since early last century, proposals to rebuild it have been placed on the national agenda many times. But they were invariably rejected. Three main reasons were cited. The first was that the original two square kilometers of the Yuan Mingyuan had been so completely devastated by the fire set by the Anglo-French Joint Forces in 1860 that renovation would be extremely difficult. The second reason was that since the Yuan Mingyuan had been listed as a World Heritage Site, rebuilding was forbidden. The third reason was that the ruins of the Yuan Mingyuan should be preserved as a warning to future generations. Therefore, whether the Yuan Mingyuan should be rebuilt or not had been the subject of keen public debate. But was the rebuilding launched by Heng Dian Group simply business hype? Anyway, why couldn't it be rebuilt in Beijing? Shai 
，所以后来就把这样一个主张，这个六字方针呢，形成了一个倡议书。在这个倡议书里边，就明确的提出了，在圆明园遗址上，应该是保护好西洋楼残疾的同时，重点恢复圆明园中国园林部分的一些富有特色的景区。Obviously. It'd be extremely difficult to restore the grand scenery of the original Yuanmingyuan on its ruins. Since it was destroyed by fire, it should be kept as a warning to future generations. So why rebuild it in Hengdian? What's the point? This Wang Xizi's problem continues. His truth is buried in the dirt of Li Siming's grave. The dirt is all buried in the dirt. All the paintings are of Han Dynasty artists. But it's of great value. 是吧？我们现在很多人要学王羲之的这个字的，都是从这些模拟的东西来的。如果没有这些东西，我们就没有办法。那我们就不知道那个王羲之的字究竟写的怎么，究竟有多好啊？我觉得对于建筑来讲也是这样，有的粗制滥造的，我们应该反对；但是如果是精品，是，我们就应该肯定它。The Yuanmingyuan was constructed on vast expanse of plain. Its spirit lay in the water, because the water system linked all the scenic spots within its boundaries. Logically, somewhere with plenty of water should be chosen for the reconstruction of the Yuanmingyuan. Is Hengdian such a place? If the Yuanmingyuan is a bit sad, then the best place is to go to Nanfang. Nanfang is where? It's in the city of Jijiang. Because we haven't destroyed the old Yuanmingyuan, there are many of them. 森林的品种，树的品种，也是从南方以及过去的。那我选了一块地方给他们看呢，这块地方有山有水，但是都是荒山荒坡。我们进去呢，是不是问了一下老百姓？如果这里来进献，圆明园，把你们搬出去到到横店附近去。你们高兴不高兴？他们答得很好的了，所以我们也继续了这项。With the issues of topography and landform properly addressed, the next step was to draw up a construction plan. The original Yuanmingyuan was designed by Yang Shilei, the oldest and best-known family of architects in the Qing Dynasty. 这资料有有有有有三个方面，当时的意大利的传教士啊，郎世宁啊，法国的神父啊，呃，蒋友仁呐、啊、等等。另外一个呢，就是清朝乾隆年间的一个宫廷的画师，就是宫廷的设计师吧，画师，呃，一个叫沈元，一个叫唐代。那有四十《圆明园四十景图俑》，这本书我们这儿也有，样式雷。那他们有留下了大量的图样。有两千多张，是保留在我们国家的图书馆，呃，保留在故宫博物院，保留在一些大学，还有一些这个档案馆里面。If the reproduction of the Yuanmingyuan was to be faithful, it was essential to identify the materials used when it was originally built. Among the building materials, there are believed to have been bricks and tiles produced in Shanxi Province. Stone transported from the northeast and timber from France. However, this created certain difficulties in the reconstruction. Week, 参观者的彩，它的颜色变不变呢？这个不会，这个价钱呢？这个价钱稍微有点贵。他们同意了吗？不是，就是、你价钱他们同意了吗？价钱没那样拿。比那贵多少？比那个贵了有四十块钱左右。一一平米啊？没。不是，那那他们不同意，我签字也不成。就是让他们再去审了，要不然就是。那我签个字。哎，我签个字，然后我再找一个。完了以后。哎The first phase in the experimental construction of the new Yuanmingyuan has been launched in Hengdian. In the trial construction, the Yaotai Shengjing Garden is being reproduced, 
covering 10,000 square meters. This land, uh, is the new development area of the Huaxia Cultural Center. This is the part of the Huaxia Cultural Center. 一部分是在它的最西面，最西面占地大约是八十五亩到九十亩这样子的。那这些景造完之后呢，就是我们的从呃管理人员到施工队伍到设计人员，一切作为实验的场地，把这个一切是真材实料，真正的石头、真正的木头，呃，真正的彩画、真正的陈设，一切按照真正当年圆明园的一些。呃，来建造，然后呢，呃，锻炼了队伍，总结了经验，然后呢，再造我们真正的，呃，这个圆明园。Of the seven billion yuan basic investment needed for the construction of the new Yuan Ming Yuan in Hengdian, 1.6 billion will be allocated for civil construction, and 4.47 billion for land costs and public support facilities. The whole construction project is expected to be completed in five years. That's to say, this most spectacular garden the world has ever known will be brought back to life in 2013. Covering two square kilometers, it'll consist of three gardens, namely Yuan Garden, Garden of Eternal Spring, and Garden of Blossoming Spring. 126 scenic spots will be recreated within the garden. But how will the investment be recovered? Chinese 了不起的就是，是政府应该支持，因为这项目是肯定是好的项目，是爱国的项目，爱国主义的表现。人民不了解，我们不能怪他。有很多新闻媒体，大部分是支持的，有一部分小媒体有反面的方法来操作一下，能提高他的知名度。我们也不计较他，随他炒吧。实际上，你越炒越好。正面的、反面的，更进一步能够提高它的知名度